Every year, Alpha Grid interviews more than 80 global decision makers, and we ask them the important stuff. Just for a sound check. Could you please tell me what you had for breakfast? Two Weetabix. A smoothie. Then we got smarter and started using our sound checks to explore what our clients actually wanted to know. If, when, where, how and why decision makers watched online video. Online video. Oh, I do watch online videos. I just watched one an hour ago. I still read old-fashioned papers this way, you know. So here's what we found. Business leaders want videos that are relevant, entertaining and trusted. But don't forget the entertaining because... Chief executives, people running big businesses, they are just people. They might be busy, but they're just people. What attracts me to video online is humour. I suppose the unexpected, the humorous. One is that it's informative and important. Mm -hmm and the other is that it's hilarious. <laughs> Ideally it's both. Yeah. Those are the best. <laughs> right. It's more around the message and the content, but delivered in an engaging way. It's usually the subject, but also the source. I was looking for, for good information. If I believe that it's relevant for uh, our uh, company and for the business. So what are they watching? Oh, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to use that, are you? <laughs> um, um... As long as it's relevant and entertaining, CEOs will watch everything. But apparently, parents can only watch one scream at a time. I still haven't learnt my son's trick of being able to watch TV and watch something else. Last night while I was in the gym, I was in a hotel gym in Zurich, and it was a poxy gym, and I was trying to do lots of exercise. I watched whatever the first thing on YouTube was because I was sweating onto my smartphone and I couldn't navigate properly. There's a problem for us to fix on Android. So I watched a video about the making of the Martian movie. You read the book or seen the film? There's a video on how to um, uh, unshell hard-boiled eggs. An interview with a finance minister on YouTube yesterday. A guy who's trying to get some fundraising capital together. Eric Clapton was probably the last one, and B.B. King, by the way, who's one of my great heroes. Our results. It was a webinar. One of the TED Talks that came around. The Lloyds Business Leaders video. So there is no recognisable pattern here, but there's a pattern to how they share. With reputations to lose, these guys prefer one-to-one -one versus one-to-many. When did you last share a video? Oh, maybe never. I kind of view sharing a video as imposing on another person, so I have a very high standard. Do you ever share online videos? No. 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 Very rarely. Five minutes ago, I sent someone an email. I kept it to myself. Sent it to my wife. Through a text message or WhatsApp. The best way to share videos is email, but do it at the right time of day. Good evening. Before going to sleep. In the evenings. As I'm walking home at like about 5.30. During the weekend at home. In the evening, um, or sometimes if I could, if I, during a lunch break. Either on the way to work, the way from work, lunchtime. First thing in the morning, or I'll do it in the evening when I'm clearing some, some, other, some other things. Evening is the best, then lunchtime, then early morning. But remember, keep it short. I prefer short. Three minutes is probably the end of how long a video can be online for me to consume. One minute, two minutes. If you know something is incredibly long, that tends to turn me off. In summary, R-E-T, relevant, entertaining, and from a source that's trusted. Shy sharers, they'll email to their close circle, but there's a reluctance to post. Prime time is downtime, evenings, midday, and first thing. And keep it brief, three minutes at the most. Oh, we're over.